Okay, glad I wasn't around when that thing fell. I think it fell last night. Sun is just coming up, technically it's 6.48. The thing about taking a walk in the morning is you get a chance to clear your mind. Now, those of you who may know, I get up way early. And I get up early because it's nice and quiet. I can get a lot of work done, no distractions. You get a chance to think. And thinking, man, that's underrated. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm actually starting another book. Kathy is working on her, her uh, mascot character, which is Parappa the Rapper. He's a cartoon character. Christmas time is almost here, so there's all kinds of parties and festivities. Tomorrow, I'm headed up to the Murphy Museum because there's a party going on there. And then there's, there, there's something happening on Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Fires have been burning pretty steadily for the last week or so, well over 100,000 acres. So some areas of LA are really suffering big time. But here in Malibu, it's, it's all quiet, which I'm very grateful for. Oh, poor guy's missing his nose. Yeah, I took his nose off. This is what he looked like, which I thought was really cute. Yeah, I guess he's just not a dog, though. He's got dog ears. He but does. anyways, he's getting a flat face with just a little smaller nose and a cut-in mouth. He'll be cute. There's a couple of absolutely massive fires that are happening in Southern California right now. It's very windy. Fires are not in Malibu. There's one that is in uh, Ventura County and one that's in Santa Clarita. But the last time we had a fire in Malibu, it looked like this. Not fun, as you can imagine, if you're in a town where you've had fires. Oh, I almost tripped over the docks. Kathy's making this incredible tea. What is this stuff? Detox tea. I have a runny nose because of the fires. Yeah. for some tea. It's been kind of a work day, but uh, very grateful that we get to work in our pajamas. The fires have gotten worse. Uh, there's now three fires that are going on in LA. Uh, there's one in Ventura, um, there's one in Santa Clarita, and there's one that's over near us at the Getty Center. It's a little bit far away. It's not like right next door, but uh, close enough that it makes uh, the, the air smoky pretty much everywhere you go. What's up, Buck? What's mommy doing? What are you up to down here? Oh, uh, make a protein drink. Mmm. Looks good. Spinach. And dates. And strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, coconut uh, cream, whatever that's called, coconut oil, protein powder, coconut milk. Anything I can find in the refrigerator, actually. It may not look that appealing but it will be the best, delicious, healthy, nutritious drink you've ever had. Your car is in. I could tell it was red. 
I think it's a Jaguar. It is the 2018 Jaguar F-Pace. I know virtually nothing about this car and we're gonna be driving it all week. So by the end of the week, I should know quite a bit. And then I'll be able to tell you guys. We're up at the Murphy Museum again uh, because uh, a couple reasons. One is that there is official Murphy Museum holiday party, which happens only once a year because it's the holiday season and it's Christmas. And that's kind of what we do with all these uh, things. But I'm also up here to check out several new cars that have come into the museum, as well as one car that I'm gonna be taking uh, tomorrow. It's, it's right there. I'm not going to show that to you yet. Lots of uh, Santa's elves working very hard, uh, even smaller ones. Start singing. It sounds good. Sounds good. I like it. <laughs> I've driven this one. I've driven that one. Driven that one. And I've driven that one. Even driven that one. And definitely that one. I'm going to be driving this one. That's sick. There are several new cars in the museum. One of being this one right here, brand new. Technically, it's not brand new, it's brand new to the museum. It just got donated, it's a Mach 1, and I'm gonna be driving that one soon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, because the next one I'm gonna be taking is, oh, I almost said it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You trying to give me a ticket? But tomorrow is the Malibu Christmas Woody Parade, and I'm gonna be driving this car. I'm not taking Maxwell, I'm gonna be driving this car though. <laughs> Do you like the color? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to know what this car is? But I'll be the happiest man alive If you make an honest man out of me Yes, indeed
I'll be taking this 61 Cadillac to the Malibu Christmas Woody Parade. Um, Maximal will not be joining me for that, but we'll also be taking that 61 Caddy to the Wheels and Waves show on December 17th. You don't have to thank me Every time I bring you things Might be flowers and chocolate Or even a diamond ring I can tell what I need to know From the way you hold me tight From the way you hug and kiss me If my ring weighs you down No, baby, you don't have to wear it So, this is our fourth annual uh, appreciation luncheon for donors, docents, volunteers. Uh, we don't really get together as a group because it's hard when you're scattered this way. But everyone likes to get together at least once and we do it over Christmas. Oh, yeah. So we have an appreciation luncheon, uh, talk about what's happened uh, in the year and look forward to the new year. And it's a little bit of a challenge this year. Because it is. of all the fires and stuff that are going on. So anybody who's been watching the news knows that we've had a, a, a horrific uh, disaster in Ventura County uh, this week. Uh, the city of Ventura, Ventura specifically has lost over 100 residential homes and probably 500 overall structures. Incredible. So Incredible. A lot of displaced families. Well, we're certainly thinking of them and, uh, and a lot of people that are coming today are affected by it. Yes, right. correct. Anybody who lives in Ventura has a story to tell. Yeah, okay, well, this will be a light at the end of the tunnel slightly, hopefully. Okay. Uh, this is Ron, we're at the Murphy, and uh, it's kind of a combination of a happy, somber time. Because, uh, you know, Ron, unfortunately, is one of the victims of the fire, and you lost not only your home, but uh, the car that was here at the museum. Right, we lost the 1957 Corvette that had been a big a big part of our lives. Yeah, and those of you that may have seen that vlog where uh, uh, Ron took Kathy for a spin, that was a lot of fun, and uh, yep. certainly brought a lot of happiness to people. But, right. But um, uh, I, I, I barely have words, you know. Uh, can you give me a little bit of an idea of kind of some of the things that you went through? Well, um, on, on the evening that this happened, which was Monday night, we uh, were given 15 minutes notice uh, that the uh, hills behind us were on fire. And when we looked out the window, uh, they certainly were. And uh, we gathered things around the house as quick as we could. Unfortunately, the power was off, so we were unable to raise the garage. Why, why was the power off? Uh, apparently the, the winds had knocked down the power lines oh, earlier in the evening yeah. and uh, the, the power just didn't come on. So we were there with two little flashlights running around the house trying to gather a, a few possessions. We didn't get much. Yeah, I bet you wanted to kick that door down though, huh? I would have loved to pull that garage door down and take the Corvette, uh, but it, it, we just simply weren't given time to do it. But you told me you had another car in there too. Yes, uh, we had a 1950 Crosley Hotshot, the first uh, American sports car, and uh, that car had been in our family since 1952. When I was four and a half years old, my dad uh, bought the car, he took me with him when, when we bought the car, and uh, I can still remember that drive coming home, and that back in 1952, when, um, we drove to Richmond and then took the uh, ferry boat from Richmond to Santa Fe and then drove the car the rest of the way home. It was a wonderful car and I just uh, finished restoring it. I spent more on chroming the uh, windshield than my father had paid for the car originally. But you know, the money means nothing. It's the historical value of these cars yeah. that's lost, uh, not only to me, but uh, to other people to enjoy them. I sort of felt like I was a caretaker and I sort of failed them. Yeah. Well, our thoughts are per and prayers are with you and, and uh, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there suffering right now. Um, if there's anything that you can say to them, people that are kind of going through the same thing that you're going through. You know, we feel for, for all of them, you know, even though I've suffered a, a, a tremendous loss, it, it pales in comparison to the loss of many, many other people. And so we feel for everybody that, that has lost. Thank you, Ron. Okay, thank you. A few of you called me this week to ask if the event was still going to take place, contrasted against the devastation that has been happening in Ventura this week. If you live in or near Ventura or Santa Paula, 
you have been affected, or don't have to look too far outside from your circle to know someone that has. real tough for some of these people. Um, you know, I, what do you say when it comes to uh, someone having to go through something like that? It's just, it's just really tough. I mean, I've been through things. I'm sure you guys have been through things, but it's it's gotta be really tough when you lose everything and, and how do you put that back together? And, and uh, you just you just gotta try and keep perspective and, and be grateful for the fact that you're you're alive, your family's alive, you didn't lose any any people and and unfortunately if you did you know it's uh, once again I, I don't have words for that it's just it's time and, and uh, uh, our thoughts and prayers as I said go out to those that are, are struggling with this the fire is still raging the Ventura fire is uh, only 10% contained as of today a lot of stuff going on but uh, um, thank you David uh, David Neal at the Murphy Museum for putting this thing on bring a, a few smiles to people's faces always grateful very awesome. Okay, wrapping things up, we got uh, only a little bit of time left and I just want to make this one announcement and you're going to want to hear this. Wheels and Waves is coming December 17th from 7 to 9 a.m. in the morning, but we have a, I've been interrupted, we have a special celebrity guest coming to Wheels and Waves. Um, I, I'm very excited about this. In fact, I'm more excited about this than any celebrity guest that we've gotten to date. We've had some pretty amazing people. Jonathan Banks, Dick Van Dyke, we've had Keanu Reeves, we've had all kinds of really... Since the movie Star Wars is coming out, The Last Jedi. If you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to appreciate this because we have a special celebrity guest coming to Wheels and Waves, and that is R2-D2. Yes. R2-D2 is actually coming to Wheels and Waves. I'm very, very excited about this. He's gonna be poking around. He's gonna be making twerping and, and funny little sounds. He's gonna be checking out the cars. He's gonna be picking his favorite car. And whoever R2 picks gets a special Hot Wheels. That's just how we roll. Once again, at this show, free coffee, free Hot Wheels. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you later.